Today I have Sandra in the studio again. She was here, oh gosh, I guess a couple of months ago and um, we made some great photos. And she has come back today to do some uh, work for a lighting book that I am working on. And we actually have eight <laughs> ideas that we're gonna work on today. I don't know how long it's gonna take us, but we do have some great ideas. Um, Sandra, what have you been doing in the last couple of months? I have had a bunch of photo shoots, and the newest project I've actually been working on is an independent film. It's kind of going to be for a film festival. We have a producer from New Mexico here. I got the lead role, yay! So it's a lot of fun, but it's really tough. Thank you. So that and a lot of family events like today, after this. Yes, we're working on some time constraints. I wore my watch today to make sure that we stay on schedule because Sandra has a birthday party to go to when we're all done. Um, and then, of course, the Super Bowl, um, which I don't know. I don't know if she's going to watch. I might watch. Steers I don't know. Steelers or Packers. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm neutral. I'm Switzerland. Uh, so tell me, we have eight ideas. So how did you... How did you decide on this on this array of, of stuff today? Well, we did go over the ideas, which is, they're all very exciting. I'm excited for them all. And so I decided to bring some fun hats, some fun scarves, even one all the way imported from Europe to work with colors. And I'm very, very excited for the green screen. Yes, we are going to try to do a green screen photo today. I know I haven't done a whole lot. Well, I've, I've been doing a whole lot, but I haven't posted a whole lot on it. Uh, but we really want to get something um, something cute for the green screen today. And I will let you guys know how that works out. And uh, in the meantime, we'll talk to you guys when we're done. We're going to go play dress up and take some pictures. Let's do... My hair. In yeah, there. take your hair out of there. Yeah, let's try that. That's cute. Let me just move a little bit. Dark. Here. We're actually doing okay. Let me get them out of the face. I'm not quite sure why. Oh, it's because of that. That flash is going to, so it's canceling uh. out. I'm like, how are, how is it that working? <laughs> yeah, that's our kind of fill light over there. Um, put your hand in your hair again, like you're brushing it out of your face. One more. One more without my head. That's really cute. That was just, just a cute picture. Yes, you're right. Okay. Hi, we are all done. We got through eight, count them, eight <laughs> photos today. Um, all in different scenes and with different outfits and with different makeup and hair. And we got it done in four hours. I think that's record timing, well, at least for me. <laughs> and uh, let's see, we did a couple of um, pictures with the pool table. We did a couple with, um, just in the studio, we did one with the green screen and one with the tan backdrop. We did uh, a shoot, a couple of pictures in the stairwell. And then we did some in the boudoir. We did a couple at the bed and um, one in the, actually a couple in uh, the bathroom kind of while she's getting ready. Um, they all turned out fantastically, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but 
while we were shooting, Sandra mentioned that she got her first DSLR for Christmas this year. And um, I asked her what kind it was. So what, what kind was it? It's a Nikon D3000, which is really yeah. exciting. But like I said, I have some tr I'm having trouble getting into it, mm -hmm. especially with the lighting and the shadows and stuff like that, which is what we worked on today. Yes. And um, I mentioned that I happen to do instructional videos, <laughs> which obviously she already knows. But, um, you know, we have the D3100 here, and I... Um, I'm, you know, starting to get into doing more videos on it, so definitely I think Sandra will be able to um, watch some of the videos to learn for herself how to how to use her D3000. Uh, one of the things in particular is the flash, because the D3000 has the pop-up flash, which is great. I, I mean, I use the pop-up flash on my D300S sometimes, but if you are trying to get a little more creative with the lighting, I suggested getting an SB400 and maybe even an SC29 cable to get that flash off of the camera um, and get a little bit creative, which I know Sandra is definitely a creative type, so, so I think um, she might have some fun with that. But I think that's about it today. You know, one thing that I do want to mention is that, like I said, we got through eight photos today, mm -hmm. and I couldn't believe it, and Sandra was a pro. She, maybe five minutes it took her to, like, redo a lot of makeup and, and hair and stuff. And I do wish I would have switched around the order of the photos a little bit. I think we even could have gotten done faster if I would have thought about, um, thought as the model instead of as the photographer and had, um, had, me, had me move around the lighting instead of having her uh, change her makeup in between shots. I think I could have ordered that a little bit better. So that's a little tip for you guys and for me for the next time to think about um, maybe instead of worrying about where you're going to move your lighting in between shots and doing the close things all together, maybe think about how the model is going to transition in between shots and ease that transition more than moving around the lighting because it's pretty easy to move around lighting. But that's it. You guys definitely keep an eye out for me and certainly keep an eye out for Sandra and hopefully she will be back again. Thanks.